Hello and welcome to this session. In this session, we will be using push and pop operations in stack to reverse a string using loop. As usual, we will have to declare our variable under data. We're using msg, which is a label for a memory location of the first byte of the string. db stands for data byte for string. Hello is our string. We will be reversing hello in this program. And zero, which is the null byte, is here to make sure we are indicating where is the end of our string. Here under main procedure, we will be moving the length of our string minus one to see ECX. It's minus one because we don't want to be moving the null byte. And here we are setting the index register to point at the beginning of our string. We will be using two loops in this program. One loop is used to push the element of our string array into a stack and the other loop is to pop them out. And since stack is last in first out, by popping them back out, we will be getting the reverse string by default. So for our loop one, we will be moving the values to, AI, to AL register by pushing EAX into stack and incrementing the index. We will repeat this loop until we have gone through the length of our string. And for loop two, we will be popping the EAX and as mentioned earlier, since the stack is last in first out, we will be moving each one of the reversed characters to AL register by incrementing the index. We will repeat this loop until all the characters are popped out of our stack. Let's run this program. So to run this program, there are a couple of things that I'm going to do. First and foremost, I'm going to start by using breakpoints right over here to see what happens inside of my uh, registers, memories, and uh, my watch window. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the local Windows debugger to be able to see what's going on in there. Right over here, uh, I would like to point it to the message that I have up there, the hello. So what I'm going to do... I'm going to use the and sign with msg, that's the variable I used. That way I'm going to be able to see what's going on right now. You see hello printed over here. These numbers are the hexadecimal values equivalent to the ASCII code of capital H, capital E, capital L, L, O. Um, so capital H is 48 and so on and so forth. Now for watch window, I'd like to look at the value for a couple of different entities. So um, first I want to see what happens in the message. So I'm going to do the MSG over here and I want to see the changes. The next watch I want to have is for my EAX. And the next one is going to be my ESI, which is what I'm using to increment. I want to see what happens when we go through this program on every single one of these um, registers and of course the the message that i have up there or the string that i have up there so let's go ahead and run this program we will be using f11 to run the program and go through it so let's go through it what i'm going to be watching is right over here and of course here so we're going to go through it the f11 and if you see the esi starts from zero and we're going to be incrementing by one. And then every time we go through the increment, the value of EAX has to change to the uh, hexadecimal value of this ASCII code. So for example, right now, by going through it, EAX should be, we should be able to see 48 right over here, which is the capital H. All we're doing right now is we're pushing uh, every single one of these characters into a stack. So let's go through it um, real quick um, and see what happens to this values so right now we have the 48 so h is pushed into a stack right now we're going to increment esi so the esi should be one now as you can see it is one and next we're going to re we're going to repeat the loop again and we should be able to see 45 now so there it is 45 we're going to increment esi again now esi is two we're going to go back again now the ax is 4c which is equivalent to capital l we're going to go through it again, increment it. Now that's three, another four C. We're going to increment it one more time. And now we're going to be able to see four uh, F, which is the O. So now all of our characters are pushed into stack. Now we're going to jump out of this loop and we're going to move to the next loop right over here. And this loop is going to pop them out. And again, as I mentioned before, since uh, stack is first 
uh, last in first out we're going to be able to see that it's going to pop them out in a reverse order and that's exactly what we want so we're going to start popping them just focus on esi and eax and of course in the um, memory windows over here right now we're going to start reversing this so 48 is going to change to 4f and so on and so forth so let's take a look at it there we go now it's 4f uh, ESI is starting with zero now we're going to increment it by one so ESI is one now and then EAX is 4C so it is um, reversing this string so let's take a look at it now it's three and 4C ESI is four and EAX is 45 we're going to go through it one more time and there it is now our uh, string is completely reversed now we have capital O L L E H popped out of our stack and in our memory. This is one way of reversing a string utilizing a push and pop operations in stack using a loop in assembly language. Of course, there are other ways that you can explore as well. This will conclude this session. I hope this video helped you better understand stack operations in assembly language while using a loop.